In March 2011, Japan woke up to an accident at the Fukushima nuclear plant that reignited debate over the safety of nuclear energy. The explosion was occasioned by a powerful earthquake measuring 9.0 on the Richter scale, which occurred on the floor of the Pacific Ocean. The debate has since attracted attention the world over as developing countries race to find cleaner energy to meet their burgeoning energy demand. Many scientists say there is little room for debate. Countries must pursue nuclear energy if they are to prevent catastrophic climate change. Professor Otieno Malo, who heads the Nuclear Science Unit at the University of Nairobi, agrees. Malo has been teaching here for the past 43 years and says he is happy that the government is considering nuclear energy. Up to now, nuclear option was not in our energy strategy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It was not there. Professor James Luckin, Director of Radiation and Health Physics at the University of Witwatersrand in South Africa, says his view on nuclear energy before and after the Fukushima accident remains the same. He says we need it especially in a continent like Africa where alternative sources of power generation are limited. But while experts in the field feel that time is ripe for nuclear energy adoption, activist groups think that it is bad timing and the wrong choice of technology. Greenpeace International, one of the world's powerful environmental groups, is vehemently opposed to nuclear energy, a position it held even before the Fukushima accident. So uh, I'm, I'm advocating a cautious walk. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's make sure, because we are talking of a very, very powerful energy source, mm -hmm. which if anything goes wrong, we, we, we haven't seen. Right, uh, Madam, we don't even have a fire engine that can fight that fire. Dr. Otoma is a nuclear physicist and chief scientist at the Kenya Nuclear Electricity Project. Otoma, who formerly worked at the Vienna-based International Atomic Energy Agency as a nuclear safeguard inspector, says safety remains the top priority in all plants. Yes, yeah, so uh, their concerns are joining because they, they will have to be uh, enlightened on the safety measures which are in the current designs because they again Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was a 1960s design, not a current design. So, has his perception before and after Fukushima changed? Before the Fukushima accident, uh, I, I knew about uh, designs, how they are constructed, how they are operated and maintained, and eventually decommissioned, and that has not changed. He clarifies that Fukushima accident was not a technology failure. Uh, if the design cutters for all those scenarios, uh, there will be no failure. That's why uh, in, in Japan, after an earthquake, they shut down the nuclear power plant for maybe a day or a week, and then they start operating them because they're designed to withstand earthquakes and they're also designed to withstand tsunami. But that particular one, the design was for five meters high tsunami wave, but now the tsunami wave which came was 14 meters. Uchilo Ayaku says there should be no cause for alarm in Kenya's quest for nuclear energy. We are not going nuclear tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or in the next five years. We are building capacity for this country to go nuclear when we are mature and I believe we'll be mature after 10 years from today. Otoma says after the Fukushima accident, people are now more concerned about safety issues. Rosalia Pondo, Channel One News.